What's a little known survival fact that everyone should know? If you're performing CPR on someone whose heart breathing has stopped. Do not stop until the EMTs take the body away. CPR typically does not cause the victim's heart to start back up and for them to jerk awake it is to force blood to continue circulating in order to prevent brain death and irreversible brain damage. Also pump to the rhythm of staying alive by BGs. Spare yourself the problem of no food peanut butter is your best friend. Bring a jar of it with you. I keep a jar in my truck. You can live off a spoonful a day. And a whole jar should last you until you can get to a better situation. If you're ever in an emergency survival situation. Look for these three things in this order. 1. Shelter. It only takes one night of bad conditions to kill you. 2. Water. It takes three days to die of dehydration. 3. Food. It can take up to three weeks to die of starvation. Also. If you run across a clear. Swift moving stream. It should be relatively safe to drink if you can't boil or filter it in some sort of way. Stagnant water will almost certainly carry harmful bacteria or other biological contaminates. Regarding bears. If it's black. Fight back. If it's brown. Stay down. If it's white. Say goodnight. And if it's gummy. Put it in your tummy. If someone is trying to abduct you. Never under any circumstances allow them to get you in a vehicle. Kick. Scream and fight like hell. Your chances of survival drop to almost zero once you are in the vehicle. Along these lines. Listen to your gut. FCK politeness or worrying about what anybody else thinks. Get away. Get loud and if someone's trying to hurt you don't worry about fighting fair. Just fight. Keep the knife inside. Pulling out the knife will probably make you bleed out. The poop knife should never leave the bathroom. If you see a mountain lion in the wild don't run away mountain lions are ambush predators they attack from the back so if you see a mountain lion slowly walk back and keep eye contact. If you see him. He has seen you for a long time. You don't sneak up on mountain lions. You stumble onto bears. They could give a shit. Mountain lions are tuned. Situational awareness. Know your surroundings. Constantly scan your environment. If you can hear something. That something usually can hear you as well. Keep your feet dry and clean. Can someone explain why I need to clean my feet? If by chance you get chased by a polar bear. Remove an article of clothing. Maybe gloves or a hat. Polar bears have severe ADHD and will examine the piece of clothing carefully until they move on. Which gives you time to escape. Does this work with other bears? Please respond quickly. 3 rules for surviving in the jungles of Southeast Asia. You can eat any animal with fur. You can eat any berry fruit that is red. The rivers are as wide as they are deep. In regards to eating any animal with fur. Recently someone contracted the bubonic plague in China, I think, from eating a marmot. In Southeast Asia is it safe to eat rodents or would it be safer to just stay away from them? It is very. Very rarely a good idea to leave the vehicle. Stuck remotely in the snow. Capsized boat. Downed plane in the woods. If it is safe. Stay. Leaving is almost always the worst idea. Unless the boat is sinking. Then get away as quickly as possible. It will suck you down with it. Water does not extinguish gas fires. Never pour water on a gas fire. It's best to cut the oxygen or let it burn out. Same thing for a grease fire. If you're in the rainforests of Australia. Make sure you know what the stinging tree looks like and do not. Touch. The stinging tree. Hold up. So you're saying that on top of the bajillion dangerous animals you have. We have worry about the damn trees too. Always leave a note. That's why you don't yell. If you tell yourself that you can survive. You increase your odds of doing so. I think that's true. My boat capsized in an inland lake in May. We got hypothermic right away. I was furious. I had just passed nursing boards and received my BSN. 
was going to start my first job in a week and was getting married in 4 months. I remember thinking it. But my friend said I yelled no. I refused to die. FCK you boat. Dot. We were able to last till the coast guard showed up to rescue us. Don't do drugs. Edit. Ro. Thanks so much for my first award. I don't know if this is a good award or a bad one though haha. Unless prescribed or purchased from a friend or found on the ground. If you are in a forest or jungle or something. Find a river and follow it downstream. There is a high chance. That at the end of said river. There will be civilization. If you are outside in a lightning storm and your hair starts floating. Seek immediate shelter. You're about to be struck by lightning. If immediate, within 15 seconds of movement, shelter is not available. Put both your feet together. Squat down on the balls of your feet. And grab your ankles. If you're struck. This will give the lightning a direct path down to the ground and hopefully minimize damage. Trust your instincts. Your brain is very good at figuring things out. Explaining it to the rest of your brain. Not so much. Not just for survival. But generally. If you have a bad feeling. Get out. Very true. Trust your gut instinct. It very rarely is wrong. If you sense that something is wrong. It most likely is. I always say. It's better to be paranoid than dead. Screaming for help. When you're lost in the woods for example. Will just make you lose your voice anything round such as an acorn top or a water bottle cap can be used as a whistle if you do it correctly. The high pitched squeal is easily recognizable and it never gets worn out. Wearing a mask in public decreases your chances from dying during a pandemic. THIS. Always carry a leatherman. Not just for our FCK. I need to make kindling but for R. FCK. My battery terminals need tightened. And R. FCK. My car's underwater and I need to break a window. Etc. Very few things can't be solved by a leatherman and the right hands. Had to look this up. Leatherman appears to be a company that makes multi tools. Chapstick smeared on dry lint makes an excellent fire starter. So do Doritos. In the winter keep a blanket, a candle, and a couple matches in the car. If you ever get stuck in a blizzard or can't get home for whatever reason, light the candle. Throw the blanket on and sleep the night. You'll be cold. But it'll keep you alive even if the car is completely buried in snow. If your car is hurried in snow I'd be worried a candle could consume too much oxygen. Also, wouldn't a hurried car be better insulated overall? You can call 911 without service. I got into a car accident on a twisty road in the middle of nowhere. No service. I called 911 and it picked up. Always try to call even if you have no cell reception. Piggybacking this to add that you should keep your old phone charged. Turned off and in your glove box in case of an emergency where your phone is dead. If you can't find water and feel dehydrated suck on a button or a small stone. Your body will pull reserve fluids to produce saliva which can be swallowed. Keep your feet socks boots dry if at all possible. The second you get blisters boot rot. You're in for a world of pain. Lay down bedding of foliage to help insulate your body while sleeping. The ground will suck all your body heat out and you'll wake up exhausted and in worse shape to begin the next day. My father, my grandfather before him. Always had a ziplock bag of dry dog food in our hunting gear. Theory was unlike other food. You wouldn't munch on dog food unless you're actually starving. That makes sense actually. If you are being attacked by someone. Don't resist. Instead pull your pants pick it up and smear it all over yourself. They will stop their attack out of fear of getting poo on themselves. Never turn your back to the ocean. It should be common sense. But a lot of people still get into accidents. Get to the hospital immediately if you feel sleepy after a head injury. This is most likely a sign of a concussion. Throwing up is also a cause for concern. Pay attention while crossing a street, yes. That means putting your phone away while crossing. 
Do you trust every driver to have 100% functional eyesight? Reflexes and brakes? You shouldn't. One moment of distraction from a driver could cost your life. And bring a flashlight with you at night. I bring my bike light. And turn it on every time I cross the street. You can make fire everywhere if the sun is shining and you wear glasses. Not just any glasses. You need to have glasses for reading. Drink water. Seriously this. Peeing a kidney stone the size of a raisin is a pain I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Imagine a knife stuck in your back being twisted all around and then trying to push it out of your penis. If you ever find yourself in the trunk of a vehicle, god forbid, kick the back of the trunk and try to kick out a tail light. Once the light is out, wave like crazy to try and attract help. It's an old trick. But it has saved so many lives. Don't eat polar bear liver. It will kill you. If you tried to eat my liver I'd kill you as well. If you can find a river follow it or keep it close to you. It'll be a source of water and possibly food. A good landmark to know your bearings. And human settlement is usually built around them. Only eat what you absolutely know is safe. We can eat raw meat if necessary but it's always gonna be a better idea to cook it. Never lean against or sit on anything that would get you killed if it suddenly broke. Or if you slipped off and fell backward. Don't draw attention to yourself. If you don't get noticed. You don't get messed with. Works universally in the outdoors. In the office. And in general where nasty things and or people roam. If you're in the wild breathing is necessary to live. Also when you go to Europe. Bring an air supply along. Metric air is not compatible with your freedom lungs. Liquor before beer. You're in the clear. Beer before liquor. You've never been sicker. Very true. Me and a lady were at a bar drinking beer all night. We get back to her place she hands me a shot of something. Which is. We drink. It was gin. My stomach flipped instantly. I threw up in her fish tank. Waited outside in the snow for about an hour before a buddy came and got me. Never fry bacon in the nude. My partner has a scar on his DCK from this. While setting up a camp with various elevation choices such as in the hills or mountains remember that cold air will settle into low pockets in the land. It might be easier to set up near a water source but it may also be much colder. Making a small trip to a water source can be worth the extra few degrees at night. Also stay positive. Any life threatening situation is made better by staying positive. Set small goals and focus on those. If you find yourself hurt in a public place. Direct your pleas for help to one person. Not to a crowd of people. The reason for this is because people will usually think somebody else will help them out. It's called the bystander effect. Try to identify them too. X. You in the blue shirt. It reduces the chances of them thinking that you are talking to someone else. I learned this in a first aid class and used it once in an emergency and it totally worked. Don't try and save a drowning person. They will drag you down with them. Try and find something to throw them. Homicides increase in states where duty to retreat is repealed. The best way to stay safe is to run and not escalate force unless necessary. If you are in danger run. If you can't run. Hide. If you can't hide. Fight. Combining some advice from other redditors and some things I know. If it's a bear run around a tree if you can't see anything else. If you're fighting a gorilla try to outrun it. If you can't. Oh well. Not much you can do. If it's a polar bear just throw an article of clothing or a hat at it. Just trust me and you'll be fine. If it's a wild chicken cut off its feet not its head. If it's a sweet dog give it the belly rub it deserves. Apparently bears don't like cinnamon so eat a lot before you go out. Also wear some jingly bells on your jacket it warms them away. When you are there look for their poo. Brown bear poo is rounded and solid. Black bear poo has bells in it and smells of cinnamon. If the water system ever goes down there will most likely be water in the top part of toilets. Apartment complexes could be a gold mine. Boil before drinking of course. 
wearing a mask can help prevent the spread of COVID-19. You have a better chance of surviving if you wear a mask. Dry cat dog food is an excellent survival food substitute. It tastes like dirt and sticks but it has very high fat content. A clump of moss has several uses. It can be used to scrub dishware, has healing properties, and can be used as toilet paper. A snake is venomous if it has a triangle shaped head and has slits for eyes. Aspirin is a blood thinner so don't use it to stop the pain if you are bleeding excessively. If you are attacked by an alligator jam your fingers up its nostrils this will break the flap it uses to keep water out of its nose and it will release you. The corners of a car window are the weakest point so aim there for a quick escape. If you are choking and can't breathe in. Breathe out as hard as you can to remove the plug. No need for the Heimlich. Which if done correctly. Will likely break ribs. You can use your own breathing muscles. Pretend you're blowing out trick candles or playing the trumpet. I had to figure this out late one night when I was all alone. There are very few wild animals that are a significant threat to human life in most of N. America. The ones that are a threat aren't ones most people think about. Like Africanized, killer, bees. I'll take an encounter with a grizzly any day over accidentally getting too close to a beehive. In the desert southwest. However. Javelina will absolutely ruin your day. You're not likely to be killed. But you're gonna have some nolly scars and a big hospital bill if you run into them. Reach Rothrogo when someone is drowning. In that order. You are incredibly likely to drown yourself if you go after someone drowning. They teach you self-defense methods in lifeguarding classes. If you have a phone in a situation where you don't have Wi-Fi. You can still call 911-999, because the emergency frequencies do not run off of Wi-Fi towers. Stuck in the bunker with cans of food but no can opener? A can opener cuts through the lid which is relatively thick. But the ring that holds the lid on is quite thin. Flip the can over and rub it on rough concrete or asphalt and it can be abraded in under 30 seconds. Don't starve to death next to a flat of lima beans. Wearing a large bell can help you avoid wild animal encounters. They'll hear you coming and will do their best to avoid you. Fire needs air to burn. Be careful opening smoking car hoods. Or anything really hot like a BBQ. And especially hot oil. And fuel burns. But vapors explode. If you dig a hole and put a bowl in it then put something that lets water seep through over it with a rock you can get clean water. If you ever roll up to a large scale accident. Tell all the injured people to sit down in one area. People are in shock wandering around. Only adding to confusion. Some people buy or carry special tools to break windows. Specifically in cars for instances such as being trapped underwater inside the care. However unlikely that exact situation may be to cover where you're in a car sinking and the glass didn't break and you're conscious and mobile. The metal rods on the seat's headrest, once removed, obviously, can also be used reliably to break the window when it's under the heavy pressure from the water. Might be more awkward than the pocket knife or fancy pen you got with that special glass breaking spike on it but that headrest is always there if you can remember to use it when it counts. <laughs>